okay um i gave you all homework right did any all of you send it to me ma'am there was a delay ma'am what happened ma'am my mom won't come for 3 days all right but have you done the homework you don't have any other source yes, of ma'am ma'am i did okay fine all right uh Mama, I have sent you my homework. Yeah, I'll check that. So, Adrit, during photosynthesis, plants take in carbon dioxide and water from the air and soil within the plant. Mm, water is oxidized with nitrogen. All right. Okay. Very good, Adrit. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, I'm sure the. Um, Photosynthesis is the process by which plants make their own food. It happens in the leaves of the plants where there are special cells called chloroplasts that contain a green pigment called chlorophyll. Mm. Uh, you haven't mentioned what are the other requirements of photosynthesis, Aishwarya. So I want a bit more detailed answer. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Mohanish, did you do your homework? Did you do your homework? I can't hear you, Mohanish. I can't hear you, da. Can you unmute yourself and talk? Mohanish. Can you please unmute yourself? Why you didn't do your homework, Mohanish? I know the reason. Text me in the chat box right now. Still waiting for your reply, Mohanish. Please make it quick. Mohanish, because of procrastination, what kind of answer is this? You procrastinated what? That's my fault or your fault? This is not an excuse, Mohanish. Yeah, last homework you didn't understand, and you didn't do it. This homework I clearly gave you, and you still didn't do it. And you had your time yesterday. What did you do the whole day yesterday? What did you do today, whole day morning? It is not a matter of understanding. I don't want you to repeat the same thing again. Okay. Fine. Getting back to class, all of you. What did we see in last class, Sridij? Mom, are you saying me? Yeah. 
Mom, one minute. Yeah. Mom, last class, uh, you told about herbs, shrubs, and trees. Mm -hmm. You told that uh, herbs have green and tender stem, uh, stems. Mm -hmm. They're short and they do not have any many branches. Mm -hmm. And shrubs, uh, and you mentioned that uh, shrub, uh, shrub stems are at the base. Okay, okay. Just tell me the headings alone of what we saw last time. Okay. About the stem, creepers, mm. climbers, uh, leaves, the mm. parts of a leaf, mm. uh, and the patterns of leaves. Okay, very good. Um, Aishwarya, tell me, what are what is the meaning of venation? Yes, one. What is the meaning of venation? It's like whitening. Sorry? From the meaning of venation is whitening. What are the two types of venations? Uh -huh. Two types of leaf venation. We saw no last class, venation. This way, recreate venation and parallel venation. Okay, all right. Um, Deepika, tell me what is the function of a stem in a plant? Ma'am, to pass the food? To pass the food to? The leaves. Only the leaves? And to the roots. And to the other parts of the plant. Okay, all right. Um, Adrit, tell me the part of the leaf that is in the middle, the middle part of the leaf is known as what? Yeah, Adrit, I can see that this is the leaf. This middle portion is what? Um, it's stem. No, it's not the stem. What is the middle part, Mohanish? Mama, don't know. Ashwarya, you want to try? And beans? No, beans are the ones that run. These are the veins. Mom, mid leg. Come again. Mid leg. Mid rib. Okay, it's the mid rib. Please learn the parts of the leaf, people. You all will be having a quiz on this on Sunday. All right, and you'll be not having class on, on the next Monday. You'll be having it on Wednesday because I'm having a family function to attend. Okay, all and right. The so, separation of substances will come? Yes, it will, definitely. And change your surroundings? Both of them. Yes, everything will be mixed up. So your portions will be whatever I teach you today, uh, take till today and um, separation of substances because last Sunday we didn't have a test on that and changes around us, three lessons. All right? Okay, ma'am. Okay. So, since I gave you all a homework for photosynthesis, in order, photosynthesis is nothing but it's a process of the plants Making their own food. Yeah. So, can all plants make their own food? Can all plants make their own food? No, ma'am. They need sunlight, water. Okay. My question is can all plants make their own food? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. They can make. Okay. Sritesh, do you agree? Yes. 
your voice is very low, Sheetesh. Mom, I agree. Okay. Uh, who, uh, who and all doesn't agree? Anybody who doesn't agree that all plants can make their own food? Okay, so everybody agrees. This is false. Not all plants can make their own food. Only green plants can make their own food. Okay, non-green plants, they cannot make their own food. Like mushroom and all, it's not green. Okay, so there are many other non-green plants which cannot make their own food. So the things that you need to How can they get their food? Yeah, there are different, different methods they get their food. I'll explain about that. So things that you need for photosynthesis processes, you need sunlight. You need chlorophyll. You need oxygen in the form of air. You need water. So these are the four important components. Even if one is not there, photosynthesis cannot occur. All right. So Mom, what? There is, Mom, there is yeah, one carbon dioxide. It comes under the air component. Okay, CO2 and other air components. All right. So the process of photosynthesis is that the... So anybody knows what is chlorophyll? Yes, ma'am. Um, it's a green pigment. It's the green pigment. You're right. So it is the, you can see that the blood is red color in your body because of hemoglobin. So the green color because of the leaf in the leaf is due to the chlorophyll. So it is the green pigment. So it is the pigment that gives the green color to the plants. I mean, plant All right. Take carbon dioxide. Mom. It takes from chlorophyll. No, it doesn't take from chlorophyll. Like um, now you have the plant. Okay. Okay, so this plant, it has tiny, tiny pores in the side, okay, in the bottom of the leaf, bottom ridges, okay. They are the nose of the plants. They are known as stomata, okay. So carbon dioxide gets in through the stomata, say the nose, okay. Carbon dioxide gets in through the stomata and sunlight is provided by the sun okay it takes in carbon dioxide and gives out oxygen all right all the water is taken in by the roots Okay, so your water is done, chlorophyll, so sunlight is done, chlorophyll is done, oxygen is done, water is done. So this is how your photosynthesis process, everything takes place. Even if one component is not there, the food cannot be made. All right, so the first thing what happens, the plants will first take the water from the mineral and the minerals from the ground through the roots. That's the first thing. Okay. Secondly, the leaves will take in carbon dioxide from the air and it will release oxygen. Okay. Third, the sunlight that will give the chloroplast the energy. Sunlight basically provides the energy for making the, of the food. Okay. So this is the whole process of photosynthesis. It happens like a cycle. All right. Please note it down. Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. Can I scroll up? Uh, this is something this that is I got yesterday. You need not write that. Yeah. This is enough. Ma'am, I completed. Mohanish, please um, make sure you are not noting it down while I'm taking class. That is why you are not aware of half of the things that has been done in class. Please make note only during the time that I'm giving you all.
Mamam dan Deepika. Okay. Mam. Ya. Cuman oksigen air equals CO2 one or CO2. It's just CO2. Okay, guys, I'll just go break my fast and I'll be back. Uh, so when I'm coming back, I want you to find the answer for what are the different types of roots. There are different types of roots, like you saw different types of leaf patterns. There are different types of roots also. So I want you to find out what are the different types of roots and what are the differences. Now, if you have root A and root B, I want you to state the differences between root A and root B. All right. Ma'am, did you say roots or fruits? Roots, roots. Not so. Okay, I'll be back, guys. Ma'am, you should state the differences like oh, what are the differences? Yeah, like you have to, no, that you have to find out. I can't tell you what You have to just find okay. out what differences there. I'll be back, all of you. Oh, yeah. Ma'am, can, can we take three roots? Three types of roots? Ma'am?
Instagram. Ma? Excuse me, ma? Yeah, da, tell me. Yeah, da, tell me. Ma, ma, completed what did you... Ma, ma, completed the answer. What did you... I completed the question and the answer. Okay. Okay. Ma, ma, searched it in, in the internet and wrote the answers. Okay, okay. Okay, very okay. Very okay. Very okay. Very okay. I'll be back in time. I'll be back in time. Okay.
मस्टर्ड कैरेट बीटरूट पालसी चाइना रोज एंड ऑल डाइकोटली डॉन्स आर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ टैप रूट सिस्टम ओके वन मिन Mama, are you saying something? Am I audible to all of you? Yes, ma'am. Students are not. Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, see, Tate, since you mentioned dicotyledonous, you know, do you know what is the meaning of that? Um, seeds which have ah uh, two two, ma'am, two cotyledons. very good okay uh, okay all right so tell me the definition of tap root in the meaning that you actually understood other than giving me scientific terms tell it to me in more simple term of what you understood what tap root is ma'am actually i understood it uh, like it has a long main root and small little roots mm-hmm. are attached to it uh, okay that uh, and uh, that's it ma'am Okay, fine. Thank you, Sri Tej. Okay, so you gave me uh, adventitious roots, tap root, and uh, fibrous root. Okay, all right. They pick up. Can you tell me your answer? Ma'am, I wrote about floating roots. Hmm. Ma'am, uh, floating roots are roots that develop uh, from the nodes. Okay. They uh, store air. Become okay. and they become spongy. All right. Uh, they project above the level of water. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's it, ma'am. Okay, so you found only floating root, or the other uh, roots are there that you have found above? Ma'am, and then I found tap roots. That's it. All right, fine. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you, Deepika. I should yeah, your answer. Oh, yes, ma'am. So there are ba- so there are, there are four main types of roots, which are taproots, fibrous, adventitious roots, and aerial roots. Okay, can you tell me what are fibrous roots? Uh, so fibrous roots are a type of a shallow and spreading root system. Okay. And they are made up of small pine roots that grow horizontally near the surface of the soil. Alright. Okay. Thank you, Ashwarya. Okay, Adrit, your answer. Yes, ma'am. The different types of roots are tap roots, fibrous roots, and advent adventitious roots. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ta- uh, tap tap roots. Uh, Tell me what are um, adventitious roots? Adventitious roots that form on any plant part other than the roots. All right, all right. Um, okay, ma'am. And uh, tell me, ma'am, because ma'am, fibrous roots are also known as a. adventitious roots because the primary root that forms when a seedling germinates does not remain all right fine uh thank you adrit well um, finish your answer
Mohanish? Ma'am, but I wrote as uh, there are two types of fruits which are carrot, radish. Carrots are high in potassium. Okay, 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 okay. One minute, one minute. I didn't ask you to write vegetables or fruits or fruits. I've asked you two types of fruits. Are you aware of what are we even learning and telling parts of the plant? So how will I ask you to write the vegetables? Types of fruits. The answer is wrong. All right, class. So all right, class. All of you are aware that there are different different types of roots. Okay, so there are even aerial roots, fibrous roots. Aerial roots are nothing but floating roots. All right. So now let us look at what these functions of these roots are, of these different types of roots, and why are they classified differently? All right. Okay, so we know that without the root, the plant cannot survive because obviously without water, the plants cannot survive. All the water that you pour in the soil is being taken up by the nodes. Nodes are basically pores that is present on the root, right? So these nodes, they, they just make sure that the hole is open enough for the roots to absorb the water and then it passes up through the stem, then to the other parts of the body. All right. So, I'll first show you the diagram. All right. So, roots that are long and has hair on them. Hair is nothing but this separating, you know, like veins, you know, they're only hair. Okay. There are roots like this and there are roots that are more large and more dividing. Okay. The advantage of this is, now if you're pouring water here also, it can easily take in water like this. But here, if you're pouring water here, it'll take a lot of time to travel over here. Okay, so you need to pour it near the plant for it to get absorbed. So the first one that I've shown over here is a tap root. And this is a fibrous root. All right, so the main root here is the tap root and the smaller root are these one, no? You can see the smaller roots, no? These are smaller ones. These are known as lateral root. All right. So now, um, since you all found the differentiation, apart from the watering that I told, do any of y'all have any other difference between tap root and fibrous root? Any of y'all? Not any other difference that uh, other than what we searched. Ma'am, can you repeat the question? Yeah, I already told you a difference over here. The watering of the plant is more easy for fibrous root. You can just water, you know, it has a larger circumference area. Whereas for taproot, it's only a smaller area. That is one of the example I, one of the difference I gave you all. Give me another difference. Ma'am, can I tell me? Ma'am. A tap root system has a single main root that grows down. A fibrous root system forms a dense network of roots that is closer to the soil surface. Very good. So the first, uh, I'm not mentioning my difference as one of the differences. I'm just writing down all the differences that you're all telling. Ma'am? Yeah, tell me. Ma'am, the tap root is very thin and the fibrous root is very thin. All right. So, uh, thanks, Ashwita. So, they penetrate deep. You can see the tap roots, it's going long. They penetrate deep, right? Whereas fibrous root is shallow. The terraces are the base, they're not like penetrating deep. So, they are shallow. So, uh, apart from thin and thick, we can say that they are long. 
So they have many long main primary root and they are just short. And, uh, and when it comes to thickness, what you can say is now for now, for example, this is the tap root. Okay. So sometimes this portion is thick. This portion is thick. This is very thin. This is thick. So it's like that for tap root. Whereas the fibrous root, they're all in the same thickness. Okay. So tap root, they're all of different thicknesses. Okay, and normally tap roots are found in plants that have reticulate venation. Whereas these are found in plants with what venation? Parallel venation. Parallel venation. These are the main differences of these two types of roots, tap root and fibrous roots. But yeah, there are also adventitious roots and uh, uh, aerial roots, but that will be learned by you all in higher studies, like higher grades. Okay, so please note this down, the differences. And also another example that uh, difference that Sri Page told. Tap roots are normally found in dicotylinous plants, and fibrous roots are found in monocotylinous plants. Monocotylinous. So dicot means what? You have beans, peas, all these are dichotomous. Now you take beans, no? Or you take green peas. It's like this. You split into two. It has two halves, right? So this is a dichotomous. Whereas for mango, it has a single seed. It's a monocotyledon. Okay, so monocotyledon plants have fibrous roots. Dichotyledon plants have tap root. You can also write an example. This is very easy. Carrot is an example of tap root. And there you have mango. Now, zoom in the difference of, of tap root. First point. Sorry. Ma'am, can you zoom in the first point of uh, tap root? Thank you. You yeah, can note down the homework also, and once you are done, you can just mention your name and you can leave. Your next class will be on Wednesday, and uh, your test, which will be on Sunday, the chapters will be getting to know plants, separation of substances, and changes around us. All the three units. So please prepare well. It will probably be for 20 or 25 marks. All right. So, and also, please make sure for the fill in the blanks, don't write in sentences. 
Listen carefully. Please don't write the fill in the blank answers as sentences. Or don't, you need not mention any articles also. Okay, like uh, the, and I don't want anything. Okay, the root, the fruit, I don't want that. Just fruit, root, atom. That's it. Okay. Ma'am, do you mean just one word? Yes, just the word. All right. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm done. Aishwarya. Okay, Aishwarya. I hope you're going to put homework down. Yes, ma'am. Um, please complete your last your homework, the mistakes that I told you. I that. Just a minute, Mohini, I'm talking. So, Aishwarya, once you're done with the corrections that I've given you, okay? Uh, you can do the homework that I've given you, okay? Yes, okay. Okay, I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye. Bye, ma'am. Yeah, Mohanish. Ma'am, I'm done, Deepika. Okay, Deepika, no doubt. Ma'am, okay. can you repeat again? Ma'am, can you repeat the portions again? The portions no. are changes around no. us. The no plans and the methods of separation. Methods of separation. Separation. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Ma'am, this is Sritej. I'm done. Okay, Sritej. You can note down the homework and you can be really on Wednesday. Bye, ma'am. Bye. Ma'am, so there's no ma class. Ma'am, this is Adrita, I'm done. Okay, Adrita, yeah, Deepika? Ma'am, so Bye, there's ma no class on Monday. No class on Monday, right? It'll be on Wednesday. Bye, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Bye. Bye, ma'am. This is Moni, and I completed. And I yeah, wrote all the homework. Bye, ma'am. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you. Thank you, bye. <laughs>